hello everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video <laughs> just kidding i promise this is not a singing video it is a favorite current obsession products that are in heavy rotation currently as of like mid january to pretty much all of february which we're halfway through the month but it still counts okay i'm going to share with you guys my new favorite foundation that i've been obsessed with and just beauty products in general so you already know grab your cafecito and let's jump right into it starting off with my primer this one has been my absolute go-to it's a little shocking because as an oily skin girl i try to stay away from like glowy products just because they tend to just make me a little extra shiny but surprisingly, this one is just hydrating with the glow, but not overly oily. And I feel like Patrick Star's products are targeted a lot towards like oily skin, large pores, texture, and all that. The fact that he came out with such an amazing product that is still oily skin friend, oily skin girl friendly. <laughs> it just, he hit it out of the ballpark, so this has been the one that i've been using so much whether i use it alone if i use it with a foundation or if i use it with a bb cream or a water cream whatever it is i've just been reaching for it a lot and this does have a little tacky finish to it meanwhile i wanted to share my current favorite scent from Dossier a citrus green apple this one is inspired by dolce and gabbana light blue if you haven't smelled this one, it's like an OG to dossier. It smells so fresh, very fruity, like clean, and then aquatic coconut. So these two are very similar. What I like to do is I actually like to layer them together. I will go in with aquatic coconut and then citrus green apple because the green apple and the coconut, for some reason, they just go really well. You just smell delicious, fresh, sweet, and citrusy all at the same time. If you guys haven't shopped for Dossier, make sure you check the link in the description box down below. Check them out because there is so many fragrances on their website. You are going to find what you love. So shout out to Dossier for sponsoring this portion of the video. And let's move on with the foundation that I have been obsessed with. This is the combo you did not know you needed. This is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in the shade Barcelona. And this is the BK Beauty 109 brush. Like if you are on Instagram or TikTok, I'm sure you've seen this brush everywhere. It's gone viral. <sighs> I didn't want to buy it. I was like, I don't need it. But then I saw it on sale for I think like $19. I was like, okay, fine. I will buy it. So I'm going to go in with a foundation and just show you guys exactly why I've been loving this combo. First of all, there's this NARS foundation is super lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy. It almost feels like you're applying like a serum. And it matches my skin pretty well, honestly. So that is always a win, which is honestly surprising because I feel like NARS foundations tend to run a little bit yellow, but I did notice that this one oxidizes on my skin. And so I didn't want to go with a shade too dark because summer is coming. And even though I do get tan, um, I think this is going to still suit me during the summer because it does, like I said, oxidize a little bit on me. So as you can see, this brush, friends, is like amazing it blends the foundation out in seconds the material is amazing the brush the quality like everything i love how it's angled and it allows you to be so precise with your application i clean it off i go back with my bronzer my blush and even a little bit of my concealer and i blend everything out so this combo has had me on a chokehold for the past few weeks this foundation, if I don't set it, it will make me get a little oily. So it's really important to set my skin. But obviously, we're not there. So let me share with you a recent discovery. And I just have not been able to put it down. The Moira Cosmetics Stay Golden Cream Bronzer is the perfect golden bronzer color for the spring and summer. This one, I got it from HEB. My local HEB carries a ton of of Moira Cosmetics products. Well, okay, not a ton, but they do carry a wide selection. And I recently saw that they stocked these and I think they stocked some cream blushes, but I didn't find a shade that I liked. 
so I will have to go back. Maybe we can go shopping at HEB if you guys want to do that because they do have some brands that like Ulta or Sephora doesn't carry. So that would be fun. We can do a little bit of shopping. I can show you guys like what makeup they have and all that fun stuff. But as you can see, this one blends super nicely. I think it's only like $8 or something like that. For my blush, oh my gosh, the About Face. I hauled this and I've even tried it before. But this color, you guys, okay, this is the shade Shagged. It is the prettiest purple, viol not violet, but it's just a beautiful burgundy, like a soft burgundy purple. I don't know. But again, I'm going to use that same brush and I'm just using the tip of the brush to pick up the product and I'm just going to place it right here. So what I've been doing is I've been going in with my blush first and as you can tell, I go pretty heavy handed with my blush because I'm going to go in with my concealer on top and it's going to sort of tone it down so it's not so intense. I mean, either way, I still go intense with my blush. It's just... One of those things, it's definitely a trend that I like and I hope it never goes away because I love a strong blush, like not crazy strong, but I want you to be able to see that I'm blushing, you know? If you love contouring your nose like me, you have to try these little contour sticks from Catrice. This is the Magic Shaper Contour and Glow Stick in the shade 020 Medium. This is the perfect shade, the perfect formula and the perfect size. So I just like to go in straight into the nose and then I'll contour the bottom and bring it here to the sides and then I will bring it actually all around because that way it doesn't look odd where the contour ends. It has like a slight cool undertone so I feel like it sits very well on the skin and it blends really nicely too. And I've been using this little small brush honestly. I don't even know where this is from. I forgot. I think I might have gotten these from Ross. Yeah, I think I got this little set from Ross. I feel like contouring my nose is one of those things that I feel so weird without it now because I've been doing it for so many years. And it's not even that I'm insecure about my nose as much anymore. I still don't like my nose, but I used to like hate it. Now I'm like, whatever, it's my nose. Like, what am I going to do about it? I would not get my nose done, but it just makes a difference when I contour it. For my concealer, of course, it is the Hourglass Vanish Concealer in the shade Beach. I just, I can't put it down. This went viral for a reason. The girl that like repopularized it uses so much and I have tried to use so much. But honestly, this is such a thick concealer that I feel like you don't need it. I don't know how she makes it work. How she makes it look so flawless and creaseless, but it definitely creases a lot on me if I use too much of it. So I'm just going to use a little. This is a little, okay? <laughs> Trust the process. This sponge has also become my new go-to. Like, I honestly didn't think I was going to like it because I was like a heart-shaped sponge. Like, come on. I don't know if it's because of the shape. But the point is literally perfect. Sitting with my Beauty Bakery Flower Powder and Cassava Yellow. I am back to this one and ah, she never disappoints. Okay, let's move on to blush, you guys. I think I found the perfect combination for the About Face blush. <sighs> These two, okay. This is the Love Sprung from Artist Couture. Tell me if you have ever seen a better match, okay? I will be waiting. These two together, sorry, I just dug my finger into it. But these two together are heaven made, okay? They are the prettiest combination. So I'm gonna show you what I've been using it with. Honestly, I always switch my makeup, my blush brush. I love the Real Techniques. I love this other one from Real Techniques. And then I love this other one from Real Techniques. Today I'm just going to use this one because I want it a little more lightly. Since I already have blush on the bottom, I don't need too much. Oh my gosh, I love this combination. I like to match my cream blushes to like my powder blushes and... 
when I was going through my makeup and I was like, okay, I need to find a purpley toned one. I didn't think I have one because I'm not really into like purple or like pinker blushes. I'm definitely more of a coral peach girl. I don't know about you guys, but I hate to see the like distinction between where I set my concealer and the blush. So what I've been doing is taking a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury setting powder, literally like a little bit. You don't even need that much, much, much. <laughs> And um, I just go in and blend right where I see that harsh edge. Literally, just like take your time, blend it gently. Let me take a little more. Make sure I'm putting my brush. This is a Morphe and Aerial brush. And I swear it's like my favorite for under eye either setting or buffing out the powder. So of course I gotta throw in a little bit bronzer into the crease. I'm just using my MAC Give Me Sun. This is like my go-to bronzer whenever I want to add a little bit of dimension onto the eyes. It just gives you almost like, I don't know, I feel like your eyes look a little bit more open when you're wearing bronzer in the crease. I guess it's just the definition that it gives the eyes instead of looking so flat. And then I'll connect it to my nose. I mean, I do, I've done this look plenty of times on my channel, but this is genuinely like what I wear. I don't know. I feel like I've been having such a hard year getting into like makeup looks. I don't know. I guess I'm just so uninspired that it's hard for me to like want to rock a green eye or a blue eye I do miss them but I just I don't crave them as much as I used to I did this eye off camera and look at the difference I'm gonna share with you guys these lashes I know they're probably not everybody's cup of tea but let me tell you if you love wearing lash extensions these are so cute and affordable but first let's go into the eyeliner this is the JCAT Beauty Color Scope Water Activated FX Palette. It's in the shade Deep. So it comes with black, brown, blue, red, and purple. Obviously, I've been using the black and the brown ones so much. Honestly, I've been sleeping on these for so long. Like, I've had them, and I just never thought about using them. So I added a little bit of MAC, uh, what is this, Fix It Plus. I'm using this little brush from Princeton. So the number one you can get it at Michaels and all I'm gonna do is get my brush wet you don't want to apply too much water because then it gets too watery literally like a few drops and that's more than enough and then I'm gonna go in and just do my wing liner also a shout out to Catrice for sending this amazing mirror over it has like a mega zoom in and then it has a regular uh, side and then it also has a light. I was like that is so cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and just draw my wing for you guys Just like that and that is literally the prettiest brown the formula is so easy to use and they dry down to a complete matte which is my favorite part so pretty and they look like lash extensions okay and that's what they're I think meant to mimic these are the Eyelore volume and curl lashes if you have like smaller eyes I think these would look even prettier on you so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and apply my lash and then I'm going to show you guys this recent lip combo that I started using and I am obsessed with. So stay tuned. Guess who's babysitting Mr. Charlie? Me. You are little menaces. He is such a little stinker. I love him so much. So he's just so impatient and rambunctious, 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 whatever that word is mischievous oh my gosh she gets literally into everything and scratches the door scratches the floor scratches the carpet don't you um he just woke up and it is bedtime for Lonnie so I'm gonna watch him for a little bit while we tire him out and put him to bed Mr. Charlie boy okay you're done
just like that it's a little dark but I'm gonna go in with soft peach by ABH which is like literally the best lip formula ever and then I'm gonna top it off with a little bit of staycation from Huda Beauty right in the center and then I'm going to blend it out with Bite Me from Morphe. And that is my new go-to lip combo. I feel like it might look similar to other lip combos that I've done, but... I don't know it matches really well with the sweater also this is random but this has been a favorite if you guys saw my Ulta haul I showed you that I bought my husband bought me the shark hair dryer and believe it or not I ended up returning it I just didn't get the results that I am used to and so I went back to wrap up girl and I saved me over $300 I think I got this for maybe $32 this is the new version of the Revlon hair dryer brush. This is the 2.0 and the mint one is so cute. It has a detachable head so you can take it off and travel with it. Like I really hope in the future they come out with like attachment pieces. That would be so cool. And it also has a cool low, medium and high setting. Like this is how... I feel like I've gotten my hair to look the healthiest in years and it looks so full, so bouncy and my hair stays like this for days. Like look at the volume and that's just with this. So there you have it you guys. My favorite products that I've been loving for the month of like January and February. I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of these products? If you pick up anything, share with me what you got and why you got it. Also, don't forget to check out Dossier. As always, it is linked in my bio. Bio? My description box? Bio is Instagram. Okay. All right. I need to go to sleep. I'm going to take off this makeup. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and for letting me show you what items I've been obsessed with. And I hope you become obsessed with them. Try out this lip combo and let me know what you think. I love you. Stay safe. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video.